Wahoo Reef, Milne Bay, Papua New Guinea, May 31st, 2009. Papua New Guinea is located just north of Australia. Wahoo Reef is located in Milne Bay at the southeast corner of Papua New Guinea. We drop down over the reef passing a barrel sponge and leather coral and following Dave down over the wall of the reef. A fish hiding in the curls of the leather coral among small fry. School of another type of fusilier. The reticulated pufferfish hiding in the curls of the turban area, a stony coral. Notice the blue striped cleaner wrasse helping clean off the parasites from this puffer fish. Fusion of shapes of stony corals on the reef top. Notice the crenulated detail of this stony coral in plates. An orange sponge. Beaded brittle star. A moon and stars angelfish. Several sequences of a Moorish idol feeding down in a crevice. Notice its long rostrum or beak suitable for pecking down into crevices. The name Moorish Idol was given by Arab fishermen centuries ago when they brought this fish up in their nets and were dazzled by its beauty. Back to the Fusiliers.
gutter or shallow valley near the reef top, and you'll notice all the different types of coral shapes, cascading showers of fusiliers and other small fish. Some of this coral is alive, some of it is dead. White tips are dead. The ba dark beige and brown areas are still alive. Polyps and they cover the very skin or surface of these amazing structures. Thousands and thousands of little tiny polyps, only the size of a pinhead, grow and pile up on each other and make this massive coral reef. Clouds of purple anthias or coral fish hovering around a large barrel sponge. Interesting coral and algae, sponges, and bryozoans make up a rainbow of color on the walls of the coral reef. A large tunicate. Soft corals draping over stony corals. A large rock scallop. Oscillate clownfish or anemone fish. This fish dances among the stinging tentacles of the giant anemone, but it is immune to the sting. Its waving action lowers other fish into the anemone, upon which the anemone stings and feeds on, while the anemone fish remains covered by these tentacles and hiding but uh, develops this communal relationship with the anemone. The communal relationship of this 
two inch long goby standing vertically over the mouth of a cave which is continuously bulldozed and kept clean by a small shrimp. <laughs> 